Hello Internet, I am Mihai, it is part 24. Today I will create a stage to stop Node.js backend app service. You know, we need to stop the server before updating it. Start your server. I will open VirtualBox and start my server. Start headless. Let's wait. The server is running, open the terminal and log into your server. For that I write SSH, the username on the server, add and the IP address of the server. Write the password and I am logged in. Let's check if our backend application is running. Open the browser and go to your application page. Write the IP and the port number. Enter. It is not running. Let's check the status. It is systemctl. I will zoom in. Good. Status. Node.js backend app service. Enter. And you see the server is inactive. Clear the terminal. Enable the service. It is sudo systemctl enable Node.js backend app service. Write the password and it is enabled. It means the service will automatically start when the Ubuntu server starts. Let's reboot the server to see if the configuration works. sudo reboot enter and while it is rebooting I will update the instructions file. Open the configuration repository Good. I am on domain branch. I open the file create systemd service and here I will pass the enable command. Open the terminal, copy the command, pass it and that is all. Save the file, check git changes. I edit the enable command, add the file to the stage. Write the commit message, enable, systemd, service, new line, stop, node.js, backend, app service, commit and push. Very good. Login into your server. It is SSH, your username and the IP address. Write the password. Very good. Clear the terminal. Check the service status. It is systemctl status, no JS backend up service. Enter. And I see the service is running. And here is the IP address and the port number. I will check it in the browser. I will write the server IP and the port number. I see the service is running. 106 seconds. Refresh the page and the timer is running up. Now I want to create a systemd service class. Open the pipeline shared library repository. I will open it with IntelliJ, but you can open it with any other editor you have. Very good, and now in the src folder create a new package. New package and it will be cicd.os. OS stands for operating system. Enter. The OS is a new folder. I will show you. I will go to pipeline shared lib, src. CI/CD, and here I have two folders, the config folder and OS folder. In the OS folder I will create a groovy class. The name will be systemd service. Enter. Add it to git. 
And one important thing, the file name is systemdservice.groovy. Like here, systemdservice.groovy. It is very important. Now, make sure you have package CICD.OS class systemd service it must be the same as the file name and once you have it we can write the code i will create a global variable it is public final string service name now i will create the constructor it is public Copy the class name, past it, and in parentheses I will write the parameter service name. Open the body and write this dot service name equals service name. Very good. Create a public method stop service. Open parentheses, close parentheses, open the body, and now write deployment configs. IntelliJ edit this import line, but I will remove it and add it later. Back to the method deployment configs dot. I will go to the deployment configs file. It is it. I need the job instance. Paste it here, dot sh, and here I write the script sudo systemctl stop service name label stop system D service very good now I want to import deployment configs for that I write import I go to the deployment configs file I copy the package paste it here dot and I copy the class name it is it copy it Past it. The file is ready. Let's commit it. Everything is OK. Apply. And let's write the commit message. Create it. Systemd service. Class. New line. Stop. Node.js. Backend up service. Commit. I have the class, now I want the script. Open project tab. In the vars folder, create a new file. It is called systemd service dot groovy. Enter. Add the file to the stage. And First thing, I need to import the systemd service. Import, open systemd service, copy the package, past it, dot, copy the class name, and past it. Very good. Create the call method. It is public, void, call, nice. As parameter, I will pass a map. The variable name is attributes or the short form atrus. And the default value is an empty map. Open the body, get the attributes, get attributes. It is final, string, duplicate the line. Very good. And in the first line, write command. Equals atrus. Open square brackets and pass the command. 
Very good. In the second line, write service name equals authors and in square brackets write service name. Very good. Create the systemd service object. It is final systemd service Again, systemd service. Please notice the first one is the class name, so you write with uppercase S, and the second one is the variable name, you should write it with a lowercase letter. Equals new systemd service, and in parentheses you pass the service name. That is it. Now I want to interact with systemd. I will create a switch case block. I will check for the command and if the command is stop, I will stop the service. It is systemd service. Please notice it is the lowercase s and I will call the method stop service. Now I have to break to exit the switch block. I will also throw an error if the user passes a wrong command. Default colon new line error and write systemd command not supported. It is all I wanted to write. Now go to git, check the file, it is good, write the commit message, create it, call systemd service, script, new line, stop, node.js, backend up, service commit and push. I will push to commits, push. They were pushed. Now I want to create the stage. Open the pipeline repository. It is this one. I will open with IntelliJ. Nice. Delete the commit message. I go to Project tab, I open Deploy App Jenkins file, scroll down and create a new stage. Stage It is stop node.js backend up service at the timeout for one minute just copy from the previous stage past it here write one minute and it is good create steps create script and call the systemd service method it is this file name i will copy the file name Copy, past, I need to pass the command, copy the command value, past it, it will be stop, and I need to pass the service name, copy it, past, and the service name will be systemd service name. Don't worry, this variable doesn't exist, so I will create it. One line above, write final string. Now copy the systemd service name variable, past it, equals. Remember, we have a configuration map. 
scroll up to the beginning. It is this one. Copy it. If you remember, we got the value in the stage read project config. It is here. Scroll down. Past it. CICD project config map. In square brackets, I write systemd service. Again, in square brackets, I write service name. I will commit this file and after that I will explain you how to get these values. Go to git, check changes, I created a new stage, it is good, apply it, write the commit message, create it, in double quotes I just copy the stage name, past it and write stage. It is the commit message. Now I can commit and push. Push. All right. Now I will explain what is system D service and service name. For that I need to open Node.js backend repository. It is this one. I will open it in VS Code. Perfect. I am on the main branch. I open the CICD pipeline config, pipeline config YAML file, and here I will create a new map. Open the pipeline, copy systemd service, past it, remove the indentation, nice, colon, and in the new line, past the second value, service name. Two spaces, past, colon, and I need the service name. Open the terminal. It is the service name, Node.js backend app service. Copy it and past it. Very good. Save, check git changes. I edit a new map, apply it and write the commit message, create it, systemd service, CICD configuration, new line, stop, node.js, backend, app, service, commit and push. The pipeline code is ready. Let's run the pipeline. Open Jenkins. Just make sure your service is running. Yes, it is running. Now open Jenkins. I already have saved it. It is the address. And write the username. Password. Sign in. Good. Open the folder. Open the pipeline. Build with parameters, source branch is main, and run it. I already can tell you it will fail. It failed. Let's check why. Refresh the page, click on the circle to open the logs, scroll to the end, scroll a bit up. Here I entered the stage stop Node.js backend app service. Jenkins ran the command sudo systemctl stop Node.js backend service. And as you know, when some user runs the sudo command, the terminal asks for the password. It is not good because Jenkins cannot write a password into the terminal. So, in the next video, I will fix it and show you how to get rid of that password entering. Before I finish this video, I will just show you that the server is still running. 1800 seconds. I will check the systemctl status. It is running. 
so I will fix it in the next video. For now it is all. Thank you for watching.